Recently, my Poseidon Redwood developed an annoying intermittent clicking sound. After a process of elimination, I narrowed it down to the headset. I contacted Poseidon, excellent customer service by the way, and purchased a new headset for a very reasonable price shipped to my door. In today's video, I'll show you how I replace the headset without a bike stand and a minimum of tools. The equipment needed for this job is a 4mm Allen key, 5mm Allen key, torque wrench with a 4mm Allen key, grease, I like Park Tools Poly Lube, it's excellent for stationary metal to metal contact, paper towel or a rag, a rubber mallet, tire lever or dull flathead screwdriver, and the headset. I'm going to talk through the video which is sped up to keep the boredom factor low. First, I'm taking off the stem cap using a 5mm Allen wrench. Then I'm using a 4mm to take off the stem. It takes a little bit of wiggling the handlebar and eventually the handlebar comes off. Next, the spacers come off and the top cover. Then the compression ring and the top bearing. And now the bottom bearing and crown race. The bottom bearing can be a little tricky, so here I am using some tools to get it out. Then I use a paper towel to clean off the integrated cups, apply some grease to the crown race, the bearings, and all the mating surfaces. Now I'm using a rubber mallet to gently tap in the bottom bearing and I check that it's snug. Here I'm adding the head tube, putting it over the steer tube. Going to put some grease on the top bearing. Install that, making sure that it's flush. Putting some grease on the crown race again. I'm putting grease on the compression ring and making sure that it's centered. It takes a little bit of wiggling to get it down correct. Cleaning everything off. Adding the top cover, takes a little bit of tapping with my rubber mallet to get it down. Making sure everything's centered, adding the spacers, adding grease to the stem, making sure that the top cover's inner rubber seal is seated correctly, getting the stem down all the way, putting the top cover, cranking it down, making sure that it's lined up with the tire, now adjusting the four millimeter stem bolts to torque spec. Generally five to six Newton meters is recommended. Cleaning off the surfaces of grease, checking that everything's tight, loosening the stem cover. Finally taking the bike out for a quick ride to make sure everything's working well and sure enough, it's great. And that's how I changed the headset.